Hello everyone, I'm Wilson. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove unnecessary files on Windows 11. And by doing that, free up some storage space and at the same time, improve your system performance. So without further ado, let me show you how to do that. On your Windows machine, click on Windows Start menu, type run using your keyboard, Click on this first result option where you have run and then below system. The run dialog box will appear below. Now here next to open type temp and then click OK. The temp folder is used by Windows operating system to store temporary files needed for system operations. These files and folders are created during system level operations or updates. Most of the time, these files are not important after their tasks are completed, so you can safely delete them. It is always good to clean this folder, because if you don't clean, it will build up and take a lot of your storage space. To delete the files on this folder, what we have to do is, using your keyboard, you can click Ctrl plus A at the same time, and then move your cursor over one of these files, right click, and then click delete. Sometimes you'll get a notification like this one. And this happens because some of these files that we are trying to delete is being used by an active or open program. If that is the case, what we can do is click here, skip. If you see that again, you will get a notification like this. What you can do is click here where it says do this for all current items and then click skip again. Once again, if you get a notification like this, you can tick here and then click skip. Now all the files we could delete inside this folder, we have deleted. Now let's go to the next step. Let's close this folder. Click on Windows Start, type run on your keyboard. Select the first result option where you have run and below system. The run dialog box will open then type percentage, temp, percentage, then click OK. This is another temporary files folder. This temp folder is specific to the current user. It stores temporary files generated by the applications. This include cache, logs, incomplete downloads, and setup data created during program installation. Same as previous folder, these files are not important after their tasks are completed. So you can safely delete them. To delete these files, what you can do is, using your keyboard, click at the same time Ctrl plus A to select everything, then move your cursor over one of these files or folder, right click, and click delete. If you get a notification like this one that says folder in use, it means that some of these files or folder that we are trying to delete is being used by an active or open program. So what we can do here is click skip. If you still get the same notification, what you can do is tick here, where we have do this for all current items, and then click skip again. Again here, we can do the same thing. Tick here, and then click skip. If you get a notification like this one, where we have to provide administrator permission, what we can do is click here to tick, which is already selected, and then click continue. Right here, it says process interrupted. What we can do is pause and then cancel. And then repeat the process again. Everything is selected here. What we can do again is move the cursor over one of these files, then right click, click delete again to try again. It says files in use, tick here, skip. Done. All the files we could delete, we have deleted. The leftovers in this folder, those are the files that we skipped because we could not delete and they are being used by other programs. Now that we are done with this process, what we can do is close this folder. Next, click again on Windows Start, type Run, select the first result option. The Run dialog box will appear. Next to Open, let's write Clean, MGR and then click OK. The disk cleanup dialog box will appear, but before we have to select which drive we want to clean up because my system is installed on 
C drive. I'm going to keep this selection here and then click OK. The disk cleanup for C drive will open. And then down here, we have the files we can select to delete. There's a lot of options here. You can go through all of them, select the ones you want to delete, and then click Clean Up System Files. In this case, to select a file, what we have to do is just put a tick here to select the file, or click again to remove. For this tutorial, I'll keep the one selected here. I'm going to scroll down to see what else we have. We also have here thumbnails and then recycle bin. I'm going to select here recycle bin. So once we have done that, I'm going to click here, clean up system files. I'm going to select the drive, which is the same drive, the C drive. So it's okay for me. I'm going to click OK. First, it's going to calculate how much space I will gain by deleting all these files. You can see here right at the top that if I select everything, I can gain up to 3.15 gigabytes. But based on my selection, I'll be able to gain 20.1 megabytes. So it's not that much. If I'm okay with that, what I'm going to do is click OK. I'll get this pop-up notification asking if I really want to delete these files. And yes, I want. I'm going to click here, delete files. Well, everyone, this is how you remove unnecessary files on Windows 11. And by doing that, you free up some space in your storage and also improve your overall system performance. If you found this video helpful, share it, like it, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.